first guest tonight is an Emmy and Tony nominee, a Marvel superhero, and Atlanta's best paid paper boy. Next, he stars alongside Jennifer Lawrence in the psychological drama Causeway. It is on Apple TV Plus. Please say hello to Brian Tyree Henry. <laughs> It's always great to see you. Jamie. Last time you were here, yeah. Jamie Lee Curtis was also on the yes, show. Yes, she And you was. were super excited about I that. I still am excited about it. And then you met her backstage, I met her right? her backstage, yeah. And you exchanged phone numbers, I heard. I, yes, we did. And so has this become a thing now? Or it's you guys been think? one of the most amazing friendships I've ever uh, had in my life, thanks to you. you oh, like wow. Uh, like hey, listen, stuff. I did very little. I mean, you did a lot, yeah. Jimmy. Did so I? Thank, thank you. you very much. Uh, <laughs> I like to get three named celebrities together. It's it should my, be the you know, only thing you do. Yes. <laughs> that's, 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 you should be the only one you have. And like literally immediately after I left here, she texted me just to she see did. how I was. Because she saw me on a billboard. Did you text her back? Immediately. I don't text anyone. <laughs> I don't text anyone but James. Do you have your phone right I now? I hate you. Uh, <laughs> I, I do have my phone. You we, want me to text you? Yeah, let's text or something. This is such a... Oh. <laughs> to see if she gets back quickly, you know? This is the weirdest flex ever to do on your show. <laughs> Ask, tell her you're at the store and they're out of Activia. What I am you not doing? texting her that. <laughs> Well, she did the commercials, you know? I know, Jimmy. <laughs> You're trying to ruin a friendship that's taken so long. I just want to say that I love you. Oh, wow. You're going to get her divorced, uh, I think. Now, if she doesn't text back. Oh, yeah, that, that's going to be, that's, yeah. That's going to be sad. So I'll, we'll have I'm going to see if it, OK. OK, all right. <laughs> All right, if you feel it buzz, let me know. Oh we'll my break God, in that's... with this important, it's like election night. Oh my God. <laughs> and now the whole interview, I'm just gonna be like, yep, uh-huh, what? Yeah, what did you say? <laughs> the other thing you were telling me about is astrology. You're interested in it, and we had a blood moon at the beginning of the yes, week. Yes, we did. And uh, how, did you, how did you do? I, I don't know, we'll see, uh, we'll see when the results are t all tallied. <laughs> yeah. But um, do you, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Or does it even count? Well, I mean, anytime blood is in the title of something, mm -hmm. it kind of tells you what's going down. Yeah. Uh, I don't ever remember blood being, uh, it's not a bad thing. I mean, like, you know, just know that there will be blood. <laughs> like, there will be blood. <laughs> there will be blood. So there's no, like, we don't have to worry, not go outside or anything I mean, like I that. think the blood moon essentially is trying to tell everybody to get the together. <laughs> I mean, if it says if there's blood on the moon, then you should probably get your Yes, yes. And it is not by accident that it's happening, like, th that it happened this week. So. It's my birthday this weekend, so maybe I really particularly need to get Scorpio, it together. Scorpio, huh? I am a Scorpio, oh, yes. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I know, what is everybody, what, first <laughs> Look, of all. They all know, Jimmy. They all know. I'm gonna tell you a weird thing. And whenever anybody guesses my sign, I think yeah. this is more of a thing like in the 70s, but now every once in a while it happens, uh, they always guess it right. Always, every single I time. I would have picked you as a Scorpio, though. You wouldn't, all right. Well, maybe I, not every single time. Yeah, what would you have thought? You seem more like a spring baby. A spring baby? Yeah, like me. OK, you what see, are you? What's I'm your? I'm an Aries. <laughs> an Aries. Come on! I see you. I see you. <laughs> OK. That was the most, Aries, like, Aries get a bad That was the rock. most un unearned explosion of are joy. Are you kidding? <laughs> what a very Scorpio thing to say. Yeah, right? yeah you're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right, I'm not. I'm not in the fun club, I'm, you know? Just, you <laughs> Nothing know. from Jamie Lee yet? Stop, no. Jimmy, <laughs> we, it's a sacred oh, friendship. I okay. want, you know, I know the series, the series finale, the last show of Atlanta is yes, tonight. tonight. Uh, yeah. I have not seen that yet. Thank you. <laughs> but I did see the show last week. Oh, uh, yeah. And, uh, well, if you haven't seen it yet, I don't want to ruin anything, but it's really fun, really good yeah. and really weird. Yeah. And a very, a, like, kind of beautiful, it's like, can I say a little bit about what it was yeah, about? Please, yeah, please, please go for it's it. It's a uh, psychological slash phys physical showdown with a, with a wild pig, basically. A with literal, a feral. he's not, it's a literal pig. It's and a you, feral pig, yeah. You get attacked by this pig and yeah. you have to, and it's kind of like harrowing. Yeah, he's fighting for his life. <laughs> what? Now, Which is a theme for Alfred on Atlanta. Yeah. I find myself constantly fighting oh, for my life. There's a parallel. There is a parallel kind of on that. The farm, is, it's called, it, it's not called the farm, but it is about Alfred essentially buying a farm. 
which I just thought about the 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 correlation of buying the farm oh. death, right? Like when you say, well, yeah, bought the, buy, farm. bought the farm is dead. It's yeah. Dead. So he has this near death experience by trying to. Um, start his life anew by being on a farm, very isolated by himself, and it's like a series of events that happen that cause him to fight for his life, uh, which I find that episode to be a huge metaphor for a lot of things, because, you know, you try to fight for solace, you try to fight for change, and there's all these obstacles that are constantly kind of trying to kill you. And there's a <laughs> wild pig in it. And, and there's a wild pig. Is that... Now, I know that was, it was a real wild pig, at least for some, but what about the pig that was up on top of you and you're beating with the cast iron <laughs> skillet? So it's interesting how far we've come <laughs> uh, <laughs> in filming things. So I have this huge fight with the feral pig that's attacking me because feral pigs are dangerous and crazy and have literally killed people. Yeah. So, of course, Atlanta, Donald, and Hero were like, well, why don't we do that? Like, let's see what... Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, well, who are you going to do it with? They're like, you. And I'm like, of course. Yeah. Um, Donald's not even there. He's on the phone. <laughs> he's, yeah. like, he's like, yeah, more, more, more pig. That's it. <laughs> um, but uh, there's a man in a suit. <laughs> like, there's a literal guy uh, in a mocap suit, motion capture suit, on all fours charging me. Oh. And you, don't, you really don't know who you are, ladies and gentlemen, until <laughs> you show up to set and there's this guy that's just grinning, like, hey, man, what's going on? I'm like... Hi, and then he's just charging at you like a pig. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know who you are. He doesn't know. I imagine he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> he's like, this is the penultimate. This is what I've been reaching for. I'm a moment. pig wrestling with a man. And then they will swap him out. <laughs> this is, sounds so ridiculous. He gets swapped out with he what? He gets swapped out for a, 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 a boar body. So when you see me on the ground beating this pig, it's a swap of a... Of a, of <laughs> <laughs> it's a swap. So yeah. Yeah. Well, it was real good. Thank whatever you. the case, whatever it was. Did you find it funny, or did you find like what? Was I found parts work? of it funny. I thought some of what you know in like the hardware store was funny, and yeah. a, um, then some of it was like, oh boy, and yeah. then um, uh, did you think I was the Amazon die? thing was funny for uh, sure? Yeah. <laughs> did you yeah. think I was gonna die? Um, no, I didn't think you were okay. gonna die because you always I have I that phone. I was die. You did. Oh, you yeah. did. <laughs> it's like I'm gonna die. Out here. I'm gonna die. I mean, like it, it was. It was just me. You notice that there's not a lot of uh, dialogue. Yeah, no. going on. Yeah. So it was just me, literally screaming and crawling and bleeding. It's a good episode. Uh, but it, it has a happy ending. I just don't don't take all the screaming and blood. Uh, to be bad. It's uh, not, yeah, it's not, there's no, it's, uh, yeah. blood, again, we're yeah, coming full blood, circle yeah, again. Man. Brian and, Tyree Henry is here, and we come back, we'll see a clip from his new movie, Causeway. We'll be right back. What happened to your leg? I got in a car accident with Jess and her son, my nephew, Antoine, on the Causeway. I remember Look in my rearview mirror, and I could see Justice's face. I just remember looking in her eyes, and it's like she was saying bye. Like, see you later. That is Brian, Tyree, Henry, and Jennifer Lawrence in Causeway, which is. Well, I have to tell you, I didn't know what to expect from the movie beforehand. I know you're a funny guy, and Jennifer Lawrence is very funny as well. <laughs> and you guys have fantastic chemistry together. Thank you. Thank and you. it's a heavy movie and kind of a beautiful movie about friendship and yeah. PTSD and uh, grief suffering, and, grief, and yeah. And, uh, and finding a connection, I think, is really what it boiled down to. You know, like I'm always a kind of in awe of the people and places that I have come across in my career. I'm always pinching myself quite often about the projects that are being presented to me. Because, like, you know, to be honest with you, I'm just this kid from North Carolina that, you know, just never really thought that I'd be able to do projects like this. And then people saying, and maybe people say, get yeah. out, nominated for an Oscar yeah, for this like movie that. and like, stuff it's like really, that. It's yeah. really, it's really, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's truly an honor. It's truly an honor. And so, like, you know, I've been a fan of Jennifer's for a long time. And what was really great about this picture is that it kind of grew out of our connection of, um, between each other when the cameras weren't rolling. Like, oh. it was really just like So us. you became close yeah, friends. Yeah, we became pretty good friends. Yeah, I'm oh. not texting her, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it wouldn't matter. Your friends don't seem Stop, to be any hurry to get back to you. <laughs> that's a Scorpio, you know? You know is, how that, it, yeah. Literally, that's the most Scorpio <laughs> thing, man. Who hurt you, Jimmy? Do you guys, 
Do you still hang around together? Like, did it like carry over after the yeah, film was? Yeah, we still text and checking with each other. You mm-hmm. know, everyone's busy. Everyone has their own thing going on. Jamie, <laughs> um, Jamie, for instance. But, but no, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, like everyone has their own thing. But the thing is, is the connection that you uh, have with people and and people checking in with one another because it's easy to just you know be in your own thing and not and not check in. So the Causeway is pretty much about that about feeling like you're being seen and feeling like you actually make a connection no matter how big the grief is. Because we've done a lot of stuff like trauma bonding. This thing, trauma bonding, has become this big thing, but nobody talks about the other side of trauma bonding, and that's getting over it, like trying to get through it and get over it. It's so easy to trauma bond with somebody and just stay in the trauma when in actuality what you want to try to do is get over it. So that's what Causeway is really about, is meeting these two people in their lives where they felt stuck for so long and actually saw someone reflecting them back to themselves and just meeting and finding a connection. Well, congratulations Thank on you. that. I'm very happy for you. The Thanks. movie is called Causeway. Again, it's on Apple TV Plus right now. Brian Tyree Henry, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Tell Jamie Lee we said hello. <laughs> we'll be right back with Lizzie Kaplan.